Good afternoon and welcome to this week's vaccine distribution update. My name is Karen Ayala and I serve as the Executive Director here at the DuPage County Health Department. First, let's look at the progress that we've made over this past week. You'll see that um, as of April 20th, we have nearly 404,000 DuPage residents who have received at least one vaccine and 272,000 residents who are fully vaccinated. When we contrast that with our goal of vaccinating 80% of eligible residents, you can see that we're making great progress. This week, um, the current week, we have received over 43,000 first doses of vaccine, vaccine. This is by far nearly two times our previous high water mark for doses being allocated to DuPage. And so we are extraordinarily grateful and, and anxious to get this into the arms of our residents. Um, again, our, our average over the last four weeks is just over 26,000 first doses per week. And so this influx of nearly 44,000 doses into our community represents a significant improvement. When we look week over week, we see that we have administered um, nearly 100,000 doses, 96,527 doses since our last update. We also have nearly 50,000 individuals, residents who are now fully immunized. And we have nearly 30% of our population um, fully immunized as of this week. We continue to uh, retain um, the, high, the highest level of coverage for our residents when compared to other collar counties. You'll see that um, in this chart, this reflects all DuPage County residents, regardless of where they were vaccinated. And you will see that we, um, have, we continue to have a very high level, um, which we are grateful for our healthcare partners, both inside DuPage, as well as the access that is provided to DuPage County residents outside the county. When we look at our most vulnerable population, and those are individuals 65 years and up, we see that um, incredibly we have um, nearly 80 or over 86% of 65 years old residents um, and older who have received at least one dose and nearly three quarters or 74% of people in that age group who are now fully vaccinated. A significant and sizable um, uh, step in the right direction. Now, as you recall, we have several factors that we are assessing and monitoring on a weekly and sometimes daily basis which will impact our ability to open back up our communities, um, will in, influence the number of people who can gather together, um, will in influence the um, boundaries by which we operate, and that's the statewide re reopening metric. So you will see now that um, we have actually exceeded the state's goal of um, vaccinating 70% of older residents. We're now at um, nearly 77% from a statewide average. You'll also see that we almost have 50% of our population in Illinois, um, 16 years and older, who have received at least one dose of the vaccine. But that vaccine administration is only a piece of our statewide um, reopening metrics. When we look at our health system capacity measures, we see some areas of continuing and lingering concern. So on the far left, you see that ICU beds available continues to dip dangerously close to the 20% benchmark. 
You'll also see that the number of new cases of COVID-like illness being hospitalized and the number of individuals in the hospital for COVID-like illness treatment continue to increase. You'll also see that although our mortality figures, which deaths resulting from COVID-19, although they remain steady, we've, we are really looking for those numbers to be going down. In review, in DuPage County, there are multiple places where you can look for a vaccine or receive a vaccine. Um, we're also seeing significant um, increases in the availability of um, scheduling for those doses this week. This week seems to have really turned the corner in people's uh, ability to quickly and easily access appointments to receive the vaccine. And that's because in large part, there are other parts of the state um, who have reached the saturation point of vaccine demand, and now those doses are coming to us. So you'll see that our numbers continue to climb. Again, you'll see that our J&J, our, uh, our Johnson & Johnson vaccine numbers stay the same because no vaccines have been allocated since the CDC and FDA have paused the administration of the vaccine. We anticipate getting news on that front by the end of this week on Friday when the um, Academy of Immunization Practices meets. And so we look forward to um, their updates and we'll provide those next week in our weekly update. Again, we have a great deal of capacity and I'll just flash back to this because at our peak, we say we can distribute 65,000 doses. And again, for the first time this week, we are almost there. We Again, we have 44,000 doses coming into our community. So our provider partner network, our, our uh, vaccine provider network, will have an extraordinarily busy week this week. Again, if for some reason you're not eligible to or able to schedule a vaccine appointment, through um, any of our local partners, these regional vaccine sites uh, remain available. You will see the number of vaccines this current week brings us way up. Um, I think it is noteworthy that regardless of whether it's 2,400 doses or now this all-time high of 43,000 doses, the partners, our vaccine administration partners in DuPage County have remained committed to making sure that whatever vaccine is available is going into the arms of people who want it. At our um, own community vaccination clinic, we are seeing a slight dip in the demand for vaccine that is a good thing because that means we're reaching um, people with vaccine appointments who want that vaccination. Um, we still have a significant number of individuals in the 1B and 1B plus, but we've also opened our scheduling and our appointments to individuals in the 1C category, which is essentially anyone over the age of 16. Um, again, an update on our, on our efforts at the fairground site. Um, we continue to be open Monday through Saturday. We've increased our average daily throughput, so now we're closer to 1,700. Um, and we are coming up to a nearly 9,300 doses delivered per week. We also have begun linking with partners um, to make sure that our homebound um, vaccination efforts are successful. Now, the, the critical nature of and challenges around delivering this vaccine to homebound individuals um, has been part of our planning efforts since vaccines started. Um, we know that we're going to need, and we have developed a number of partnerships and layers 
Our homebound vaccination effort includes home health agencies, those agencies that who are already going out and providing health care services in our residents' homes. Additionally, pharmacies have signed on and are able and willing to send out individuals to administer vaccine. Our partner health systems throughout DuPage County are, have also invested and are willing partners, as is our relationship with the uh, EMS and paramedic system. So we, if you have individuals in your life or in your family who require a um, a vaccine to be administered um, in, the, in their homes, if you would please sign them up on our link at the DuPage County Health Department. I'll go through that um, and provide you with this uh, specific email address as well as provide you with a uh, phone option later on. Again, we have been uh, distributing our our vaccine as a county through the lens of um, health equity and social vulnerability. And so we're, we're looking at um, both providers and locations of vaccine distribution that meet those requirements. Again, we are now all the way through. Everyone on this chart is eligible to receive a vaccine and is encouraged to receive a vaccine. Again, the vaccination provides a much higher and effective protection level um, of, from COVID-19 by far better than the protection if you were to um, actually uh, contract um, SARS-CoV-2 through the, through the exposure to the COVID-19 virus. In order to receive your vaccine, we want to make sure that you know you can go to the dupagehealth.org slash forward slash COVID-19 vaccine webpage. You can sign up. In addition, the state of Illinois has a website um, with uh, providers across the state. And if you'd prefer to sign up over the phone or don't have access to internet or computer, we have that available as well. In addition, if you have questions or if you are in need of language assistance, we have um, the, the resources to address those as well. Finally, we have educational materials, again, that are based on um, highly regarded, scientifically rigorous resources. There's a lot of misinformation out in the social media channels right now about vaccine and vaccine um, either risks or uh, uh, benefits. We would encourage you to utilize the resources that we've developed um, as we have um, pulled those together from a variety, again, of legitimate sources. Additionally, as we look at really reaching the vast majority of individuals who are enthusiastically interested in getting their vaccine, their COVID-19 vaccine. And we begin to, to enter into um, really working to either attract or incentivize individuals who may not be as enthusiastic about receiving their vaccine. We are using social media messages. On the left, you see the PSA that was developed through our own health department. Um, that if you would check out, share in your social media channels, um, as well as other PSAs that are available through the Ad Council. So please, we need everyone's help to get us up to the 80% goal of vaccinating DuPage. And again, I appreciate your time this week. And if you have questions, please submit them at this um, email address. Thanks so much.